Greetings to you, football lovers, fellow Africans, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so, so much for staying with us here at Awini Unity Platform. I am Matt, your Nigerian Ghanaian host, and I am actually happy to see you here once again. All right, so we've brought updates for you about African football in general, as well as the Ghana Football Association news. First of all, let's start with African football. We are excited to announce to you that the popular Afro singer, Bonner Boy, who is actually a Nigerian, has decided to invest into producing his own personal football academy called the Bonner Boy Football Academy. Yes, he has launched it in four good locations in Nigeria, two in Lagos at Ikui and Suruleri, while one is in Portacot and the other is in Abuja, the central city. That's the capital territory. Now, this football academy is open to all. It doesn't matter if you're a Nigerian, if you're a Ghanaian, if you're a Zambian, a South African, an Egyptian. It is open to everyone. You can enroll, just go online and check for their website and then enroll through their website. Or you can easily locate them in those locations you are going to see online for a personal enrollment. And if you go there, you're supposed to be going there from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. West African time. We are so glad that he has decided to invest into Football Academy in order to catapult African football forward into a wider audience. Thanks to him and more of that from other musicians as well. We've had reports that the Chelsea fans in Lagos, Nigeria particularly, have decided to organize an all-night prayer and fasting for Chelsea Football Club to sign their favorite Nigerian striker, Victor Osime. There had been leaks between Chelsea and Victor Osimhen due to Romelu Lukaku's exit to Napoli and they have been praying profusely that Chelsea should sign Victor Osimhen as soon as possible in order for them to have a reason, to have more reason, pardon me, to support the Chelsea Football Club. Yes, this prayer actually came up as a result that throughout this transfer window, so many African players had been moving from one part of the European country to English Premier League but they have seen that not a single Nigerian have moved from any other league into the EPL and they are actually not happy with that and that is why they are praying and pushing hard that Victor Osimhen should at least move to Chelsea which is in the English Premier League so they will have more reason in order to watch the league. But they have seen so many Ghanaian players moving from other leagues into the Premier League, moving from lower divisions to higher divisions, from championship to Premier Leagues, but they have not seen any Nigerian doing so. And that is why actually they are not happy with it and they decided to organize an all-night prayer and fasting in order for Victor Osimhen's deal to take place. We've had speculations that the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF, have only one week in order to choose an interim coach or to sign a permanent coach to lead the Super Eagles through the African Cup of Nations qualifiers coming up September. Their match is on 7th September and they are hoping to play it at home. Location is not really yet disclosed but they are hoping to play it at home in Nigeria and they are actually expected to have a coach before next week in order to proceed with the training and every other preparations ahead of their clash. But the funniest thing is that we have had speculations that the person in favor to be appointed as the interim coach currently is Daniel Amokachi. Yes, Daniel Amokachi is actually a Nigerian coach. He has been very good. He has coached two Premier League clubs in Nigeria that I knew of, which is the Nasarawa United and the Aimba of Apa. And he has been actually successful in those coaching um, periods. And he has as well coached as an assistant coach of the national team twice. In 2008, he has coached under Shwaibo Amodu and Steven Keshi. And he has actually been a Nigerian Super Eagle player back then and he has been very very fantastic he has played with the likes of jg okucha he has played with the likes of kano wanko and even steven keshi and is looking forward to make an impact if given the chance to be able to coach the national team the head of the ghana football association in person of mr kurt okrako have actually made a pledge and have said he's going to do his best possible to make sure he brings video assistant referee systems into the ghana domestic premier league he has actually made this statement because of the assurance the FIFA president Gianni Infantino has given that there are now more affordable versions of the video assistant referee systems that lower leagues that are not really making much revenue can take advantage of and ensure they have a smooth running of their individual domestic leagues. And because of that now, the GFA boss called Okorakum have assured Ghanaians 
that is going to do his possible best to make sure in no time all the Ghana Premier League matches are being played with video assistant referee systems in each stadium because he has cited two examples where the video assistant referee systems have really come up big and have helped the situation in games. He gave an example of the World Cup qualifiers 2022 against Nigeria where a potential penalty was overturned by the aid of VAR system. And he also cited an example that during the CAF Confederation Cup, Dream FC played with a VR system and the game smoothly went without any problem or hindrances. And he has assured and promised Ghanaians that in no time they should be expecting video assistant referees in their stadiums. And Ghana, if done, is going to be the seventh African nation to have a video assistant referee in their domestic leagues. So that is the news for now please go nowhere stay with us here at awini unity platform as we bring you the best football news about africa in general take care for now and bye bye